Boom. All right, here we go. So party rental marketing 101, just like the title says, this is going to cover our basic party rental marketing. We're going to kind of go through a lot of different stuff. So what the heck are we doing here today? We're going to be doing a party rental marketing guide. We're going to cover all these fun things over here. Google marketing, Facebook marketing, Instagram marketing, Google ads, Google maps, YouTube. Yes, we're going to talk about TikTok, EventHawk, Bing. We're going to talk about all these different types of marketing and where they fit into your uh, to your marketing plan for your party rental business. And it's all going to be for party rental marketing. Uh, we're also going to talk about, um, as promised, you're going to have a party rental marketing calendar so you know when to prioritize which one. And at the end, we are going to have a Zoom uh, where we'll jump in and uh, I'll be able to answer some of your questions. So we'll have kind of a live Q&A. I'm going to try to keep this to an hour. Um, and we'll definitely have a special offer for you guys in the end, uh, where if you guys are interested in having us manage some of these services for you guys, uh, that's what we do. Then we'll have a very special offer for you guys. So stick around till the end so that you guys can hear about our special offer for marketing uh, packages just this month here. And also uh, to, to jump on a Zoom with us and, and, and get to talk about uh, all this fun off-season stuff. What this is not, this is not going to be a master class. Unfortunately, we're not going to have enough time for us to, uh, to go through incredible detail um, of, uh, of everything that we're going to be going. It's just way too much to cover. Like you're seeing, uh, there's just way, way too much to cover. But I promise you one thing, if there's something that I can't cover in detail today, I'm either going to cover it uh, in the very near future, or I will give you uh, links to where you guys can cover, can uh, get more information. Um, and what this is not definitely this is not going to be a big, long sales pitch. I know a lot of people ask me all the time, Tariq, what's, what's the catch? Why do you do these videos? Uh, I don't want to sit through this whole thing if it's just a sales pitch. Honestly, I love talking about this stuff. I'm very fortunate that I get to do this full time. And uh, my hope is that uh, if I, if you guys come to me and I teach you guys this for free, then when you do decide to pay somebody, then that's somebody's me because I helped you when you didn't pay anybody. And also, my wife is sick of hearing about this stuff, so it's nice to get to talk about it to somebody. Um, but that's pretty much what this is not. So jumping right into it, uh, by the end of this, it's going to be, I mean, I'm, my goal is not to make it overwhelming. But how you'll feel at the end of this is your mind is going to be blown. Your eyes are going to be open. You're going to have a lot of clarity as to what you need to do to market your party rental business. You're going to really feel like, man, why didn't I do that sooner? And, and, and you're just going to be very, very excited by the end of this. You're going to be like, man, when, when is May going to start up? When, when is it going to be March? So that's the goal. My goal is to not make you guys overwhelmed. Uh, so I'll, I'll do my best to, to, to kind of keep this as simple as possible. But it is a lot of material to cover. So grab a pen and paper. Do your best to just take notes. And uh, I'll do my best to kind of go at a, at a steady, slow and steady pace so that everybody can catch up. So who the heck am I? First things first. Who the heck are you, Tariq, and what makes you so qualified to be such a know-it-all, always talking about marketing? Uh, definitely not, not a know-it-all, but just like you guys, I'm a party rental company owner, uh, I'm a digital marketer, and I'm a college instructor. So that's pretty much who I am in that order. So I actually started my uh, party rental company, uh, Bounce My House Party Rentals, and I'm out of Chicago, right? So we, between the, 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 the really, uh, it's a very tough market out of you know, Chicago suburbs, so between the competition and the really, really brutal winners, I, I, after three, four years, I still could never grow my party rental company to where I could quit my job, right? Uh, I love teaching, right? I worked at a hospital, I taught. This is actually my very first class that graduated, uh, you know, after I started teaching. But I just never, uh, I never made enough money to where I could work for myself. I didn't want to rely on my full-time job. So I started lear learning digital marketing and I, and, and I was able to grow my company to where I didn't have to rely on my job. I still teach because I enjoy it, but that's where EventHawk came into play. I did so well marketing my own party rental company that I started helping other uh, companies like you guys. And, uh, and I still, like I said, I'm still a college professor. I, uh, I'm a Google partner, so we're certified by Google. And I've had articles published on news stations like NBC, Fox, and CBS. So that's a little bit about me, um, a little bit about EventHawk and my team. We have been hired by hundreds of companies around the country, around the world, really. This map is a little outdated. It's like from six months ago. But we've already been hired by hundreds of party rental companies. We work with other companies, but 99% of the companies we help are all only party rentals because that's just what we know. Uh, we have over 70 years of combined party rental experience between me and my team, so we definitely know party rentals. And we're five-star rated by the party rental industry. If you guys look at our Facebook, all of our reviews are just five stars. And that's important. You know, we always tell people if you're going to work with somebody, anything, you know, whether it's marketing or anything, you want to look for the two R's, results and reviews. Don't let somebody tell you, hey, I could do this and do that for you. Look at the reviews and you got to see your results. So we're pretty proud of that. But that's enough about me. Let's jump right into it. So before we begin, every time I do any of these webinars, I get somebody that messages me later on and says, Tariq, you maybe talk a little too fast about this or you didn't cover enough of this. So 
what I want you guys to do is if you need any more help after today, or if you get lost, or if you get frustrated, don't, don't, don't. All you got to do is we set up a, a helpline. All you have to do is text the word meet to our event hawk support number, and we will send you a calendar to where you can join one of our free weekly Q and A sessions. So every week we do this for the community where we do, um, weekly just q a sessions over zoom where you can jump in it's, it'll be either me or one of our other team members that'll answer your marketing questions it's free it doesn't cost you anything so if it's something that you're interested in if you get lost at all during the uh, the webinar i'm going to put this down here so it'll be just floating down here uh, all you got to do is text the word meet to the event hawk support number and we'll send you our calendar to where you can go ahead and uh and schedule one of those meetings let's go let's jump right into it all right so the number one most important thing you'll need for party rental marketing, absolutely more important than anything else. You guys ready for this? Who knows what it is? All right, enough with the suspense. The number one most important thing, you guys are gonna hate me for this, but it has to be mentioned. Website, website, website. I promise I'm not gonna take too much time talking about this, but it has to be mentioned. I cannot tell you how many people we talk to every week who do not have a website, or they have a website and it's just total crap. So I just, I'm just gonna touch on this, I promise 60 seconds, I'm not gonna talk about websites too much. A lot of you guys are like, Tariq, I have a website, I didn't come here to learn about websites, I'm gonna learn about marketing, but I just have to talk about this real quick. A website is your digital storefront. A website makes your business look legit. A website gives you one place to where you can direct all your traffic, all your marketing. Okay, people are like, oh, well I do you know, a Craigslist or a, a Facebook Marketplace and I have a Facebook page. You don't own any of that, right? You own your website. So if Facebook goes down, which has happened, if uh, you get blocked or, or they you go to Facebook jail, your business does not crash. You still have other places. So you need, absolutely need a website to call your own and some great options for websites. There are, for those of you guys who don't know, there's party rental, oops, sorry, let me just move this. Um, there's paid options and free options. These two paid options are totally worth it. Inflatable Office and Bouncy Castle Network. Uh, we use Inflatable Office. These guys are made for party rentals, totally worth what you pay. They have plans for like a hundred bucks a month it's totally worth it. Uh, they, they allow you to do online bookings, tips, um, uh, the, the damage wave, everything pretty much. It's, it's, it's really, really awesome. If you insist on, you know what, I don't want to pay a monthly fee, then there are free options. I would highly recommend WordPress. I only mentioned Wix because it's a, it's a popular option, but I definitely would not recommend you go with Wix because it's just, it's not future proof. At least with WordPress, you can later on use Bouncy Castle Network and Inflatable Office, but honestly, even that's a waste of time. I would totally recommend that you talk to one of these companies here, Inflatable Office or Bouncy Castle Network. If you don't already have a website, they are amazing. They have incredible support. They have incredible features and it's totally worth it. You know, you guys know it takes money to make money, right? So this will, I mean, having one of these companies will free up at least two employees. That the things that they can do is what they can do for you. But that's enough about websites. If you already have a website, I'm gonna be, if you're watching, if you're watching this live, next week we're gonna be talking a lot more about websites. If you're watching a recording of this, look for my uh, Party Rental Websites 101 uh, event or video. Uh, you need to have a website that has split tested sales funnels. I'm gonna talk about that next week. Super excited about that. You need to track results in your, in your website. Too many of us, oh hey, I got this banner on my website, it's killing it. You don't know that it's killing it. You need to have tracking. You need to have Google Analytics tracking, Google Ads tracking, Facebook Pixel, Event Hawk tracking, Hotjar tracking. You need to have all this stuff and if you're lost, that's okay. Don't worry about this part. This part, definitely check out the uh, the the the, the uh, Party Rental Websites 101 video. We'll talk a lot more about that. Like I said, if you're watching this live, then it's going to be uh, something that we're going to talk about next week. But this is for people who do have websites, who think their websites rock. If most of us do not have this stuff, and we really, really, really need it. So enough about websites. I, I let's just go on to the good stuff. I promise you guys, I want to talk too much, but we do have to uh, touch on that for those of you guys who who just don't have websites. So. There are two types of marketing in party rentals in any any kind of mark any kind of business but specifically party rentals there's two types of marketing that matter okay you have search marketing and disruptive marketing now disruptive marketing is kind of a term that that we use at event hawk it's it's if you search up disruptive marketing it's going to be something totally different to what i'm talking about so uh but yeah this is just something that that we uh, that I, a term that i kind of made up um but basically Search marketing is where customers search for you, right? Disruptive marketing is where you interrupt or disrupt people who are not searching for you, right? Um, and you try to convince them to do business with you. What the heck does that mean? Well, search marketing is like Google, right? People go to Google, bounce house rentals near me. I need a car rental. I need to buy shoes. I need to find a plumber. They're searching for your business, right? That's search marketing. Disruptive marketing is like YouTube ads, friggin' annoying, right? You're trying to watch a video and they have an ad that just 
disrupts what you're doing or, or TikTok ads or Facebook ads or, or event hawk like the texting. Now, if done wrong, disruptive marketing can, can be very annoying, but if done right, it could do very, very well. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. So search marketing is intent based. What does that mean? That means that you target people's intent or searches. You target people's intent to purchase. Disruptive marketing is interest-based, meaning you're gonna target people's interests or behaviors, all right? So search marketing, you're gonna get more serious customers. They know they have to spend money, right? They know that they need your service and they know they have to pay for it. So you're gonna get higher quality customers. Disruptive marketing, if done wrong, can be very costly and very annoying and just have the opposite effect. But if you do it right, it can be way more effective than search marketing. It's, it's a lot more complex, but essentially the goal is to do marketing right. You wanna have marketing that is not annoying. You wanna have marketing that turns your customers into raving fans. You wanna, I mean, imagine if your customers can actually be excited about your marketing. They can, and we do it all the time. And that's why EventHawk customers have more reviews than anybody else because we do marketing right. Uh, versus when you do marketing wrong and you just boost a bunch of posts and, and do this and do that and your customers are just annoyed like why am i why am i getting all these random emails and things like that customers are just they, they end up doing business with you right but they're um they're 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 just annoyed you know they're like oh my god i'm sick of seeing this so search marketing let's talk about that we said there's two types of marketing search marketing and disruptive marketing let's go ahead and talk about search marketing examples of search marketing uh include google and bing and we'll talk about those. So there are customers right now searching for your services. They, they're, they're searching for bounce house rentals and water slide rentals. They're searching for you right now as we speak. They have a party, right? They have a date. They have a credit card. They're just looking for the right rental company to take their money. That's you. That's who you are. You just have to be at the right place. Because these people right now, they have a credit card in their hand. They're searching. They want to give their money to somebody. So that's where you want to go first. That's where you want to market. Search marketing targets areas where people are actively searching for your services and they know they have to pay, right? So we said Google and Bing are examples. People uh, who are, who, that you find on search marketing, they have very high purchase intent. What does that mean? They're much more likely to book because they're searching for this product. They're chasing you, you're not chasing them, right? That's why we say like Facebook Marketplace, people who say, oh, I just do Facebook Marketplace. Who needs to do Google marketing? Well, that's the difference. On, on Facebook Marketplace, you're chasing around people and you're like, hey, check out this bounce house. People are like, oh, that's pretty cool. How much is it? $300, oh my God, you're out of your mind. I just found somebody else's 50 bucks because they're not looking for it. But when they're searching for what you have and they see all the legitimate businesses charging two to $300, like, okay, that's the average rate. So that's why search marketing, you get better clients and, and it, it works better. So the strategy behind search marketing to get it to be done right, you just have to target the right people. You have to send them to the right pages you have to earn their trust and then get their booking. What does that all mean? I know it's all confusing, but basically that's just to sum it all up. We'll talk a little bit more about that in detail. For party rental businesses, search marketing should be your top priority. Facebook marketplace, boosting ads, all of that is secondary. I'm not saying it doesn't work, okay? But search marketing should be your absolute top priority because that is where people right now are looking for you. If you don't have a seat at that table, you are missing out on some really serious money because people don't go to Facebook to search for, for car rentals or, or, or plane tickets. So they definitely don't go there looking for, uh, for party rentals. And you're like, Tariq, you don't know what you're talking about. I get business off Facebook Marketplace all the time. Yeah, you absolutely do, but you get way more and way higher quality if you do it right through search marketing. Now, if we said search marketing is where you wanna be, the number one search marketing tool is Google, hands down, right? We even have a term for it. I'm gonna Google it. Right, that's, 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 you know, we replace the word search with Google. So let's take a look at Google marketing in a lot more detail. And this is where you guys really wanna pay attention here. There's three main types of Google marketing, okay? There's SEO, and that breaks into two parts. There's search, and then there's the local SEO, which is Google Maps and Google My Business. And then you have Google Ads or AdWords, okay? Now, this is really important. I'm gonna take some time to break down the difference between SEO and AdWords or Google Ads because we get people call us at Event Hawk all the time and say, hey, I need you guys to help me with SEO. After talking to them for 10 seconds, I could tell they have no idea what SEO is and that's not what they need. What you see in front of you is the Google search engine results page, okay? They should look familiar. I used car rentals near me as an example, so we're searching for car rentals. Uh, maybe hard to see, but this should look familiar, right? This is a search page. So if you search for something, bounce house rentals near me, whatever, this is what it looks like. 
So let's take a look. Let's, let's break this down and look at the anatomy of this page. All right. So number one, all the way at the bottom, that is SEO. That's what you guys are all fighting over, that bottom spot right there. That is the search. That's the top search result for, for, uh, for, for SEO. Above that, you have the map pack, the Google Maps uh, three pack. So that's what you optimize with Google My Business. And all the way above all both of them, all the way at the top, you have Google Ads. Now that you see this, this is the, 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 the breakdown. Which one do you think you should prioritize? All right? I'm not saying one is, I'm not saying, you know, you shouldn't work on SEO. I'm not saying SEO is stupid and Google Ads is better, but priorities, you want to look, that's, that's what you want to ask yourself. So let's look at these in more detail. Google Ads, okay? Let me move this here a bit. So Google Ads, let's talk about results. How fast can you get results with Google Ads compared to these other ones? Google Ads, you will get the fastest results. If I'm running your Google Ads, I can get you to one of these top spots in as little as tomorrow. Okay, it's that fast. Why? Because you have to pay for it. You have to pay per click. Okay, that's how Google Ads work. You pay for each click. Now, in other industries, you could pay ten to forty dollars a click in like HVAC and plumbing. It's insane. In our industry, if you do it right, you can get your clicks down under a dollar. Most people we see, they're doing three, two, three dollars a click. We cut their clicks, uh, their their cost in half. Um, but the the only bad thing about Google Ads is that once you stop paying Google, your listing disappears. Okay, so that's the bad thing about it. Um, you can do Google Ads yourself, right? You don't have to hire somebody to do Google Ads. You can do it yourself. The only problem is you end up wasting a lot of money because you, frankly, you don't know what you're doing, right? So you end up paying Google a lot more because Google um, Google can really lower your cost by a lot if you know what you're doing, if you know how to work their algorithm. I always tell people, dude, you don't have to hire somebody to do Google Ads, but what it, what it comes down to is either you pay Google, right? Either you pay Google or you pay me. That's what it comes down to. Either you dump all your money and, and you dump a bunch of money into Google and you, you make Google rich or you help another business and, uh, and you hire somebody else that's, that, that can help you. But either way, it's you're either going to pay Google too much or you could just pay somebody to, to kind of keep it there for you and, and, and help give you a report. So that's the benefit of hiring an expert um, to do it for you. You save time, money, and you, you will just get you faster results, right? You don't have to worry about it. So that's Google Ads for you. It's all the way at the top. It's the fastest one. You pay per click, though. It's not free, um, and it's good as long as you keep paying. Let's talk about SEO, local SEO, the Google Maps section, okay? Google My Business. This, you can actually get pretty fast results. All you have to do is you just have to consistently work in, the, in, in Google My Business. There's no fees. Google My Business is free, right? And you can do it yourself. You, as long as you're consistent, you have to get a lot of reviews and post a lot of pictures, do a bunch of stuff like that. Um, you can hire somebody to help you with, with SEO for Google Maps, um, and they can really do a lot of great things for you to get you up here. But um, you will still only go so far if you're not involved. I always say I, 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 pr I prefer to work with companies where somebody's involved, right? Because there are things that, you know, if you're helping me, especially with Google Maps, you'll do a lot better if we work together, right? But if it's somebody that just wants to pay me and say, hey, you do it for me, we will still get your results. But especially when it comes down to, to Google Maps, you're the person that's living there in that area. There are things we can go a lot farther if, if you're involved and just basically, it's, it's really not hard. You just really got to upload pictures, take pictures at the, at the site. We know when you set up an inflatable, take a picture and upload it from that place to, to Google My Business. That really helps. Um, and then the last one here is Google search. So this is the slowest. So for you to get up here, it's all the way at the bottom. It takes the longest time, believe it or not. Uh, it could take you weeks or months and you may never even make it to the top because there's so much competition. You're not only competing with your competitors, you're competing with Yelp and Thumbtack and all these other places who have tons of you know, time and money to put into this kind of stuff. Um, but there's no fees, so it's free. Um, it takes a lot of time, knowledge, research, and consistency. It's very, very time consuming. So definitely if you had to hire an expert, definitely want to hire an expert for SEO because if you don't know what you're doing, it just, you know, it, it takes, it takes a lot, a lot of time. Uh, but again, you could do it by yourself. You could learn it. There's tons of, that's the cool thing about SEO. You could, you know, you could research it on your own and, and learn it. But again, all these things take time. And that's what it comes down to time or money. Either you pay somebody to do it for you or you, you know, you do it yourself, but you know, it takes up a lot of time. You have the time. So again, which one would you prioritize? People get on me because I don't talk about SEO enough. This is why, because this is all the way at the top. You know, my, my SEO was terrible for the longest time because I hired a lot of SEO guys who didn't know what they were doing or just they said they were doing things and I didn't really know what they were doing. Uh, but that's so, so I just decided to focus on Google Ads and we did really well. But what if you could show up at the top of all three of these? 
I'm gonna say that again. You got three spots and we talked about each one individually, but actually you can show up in all three and you can show up at the top of all three. Pretty cool, right? So let's look at these side by side, okay? Uh, let's compare Google Ads to Google Maps to Google Search. Google Ads is the absolute highest, Google Maps is second, and Google Search is lowest. Google Ads is the fastest, so you'll get the fastest, you'll, you can get up here as, as soon as tomorrow, right? Um, Google Maps is pretty fast. Google search, it may take you months to, to rank. Again, every market's different. As far as fees, this one has fees. You have to pay Google to get up here. These two are free. But again, it takes money to make money, right? It's worth it to pay to get up here. And um, when should you prioritize these? My recommendation, I would say prioritize Google Ads during the busy season. When you're busy and you want to get bookings, you definitely need to prioritize Google Ads, okay? Because you want to be all the way at the top and also Google Maps because that's right under there. Now, you might be thinking, Tariq, nobody clicks ads. I'm gonna show you that you're wrong. I'm gonna show you some insane results in a sec. In the slow season right now, I would highly recommend you prioritize SEO. Tariq, you just got done saying SEO was all the way at the bottom. Now you're telling me to prioritize it. Right now, as I'm recording this video, if you're watching this live, this is, you know, it's January. And if you work on your SEO now, by the time March rolls around or April, you can really see some results. So now is the time to work on your SEO today. Don't wait till March because you, won't, you might not see results till July, right? If you're lucky. So uh, this is why, again, I would not say, I'm not saying don't run ads now, right? If you're in Texas or Florida, yeah, heck yeah, you should be running ads now. I'm in Chicago, I'm, all my stuff's off. But um, that's, again, as far as priorities, that's when I would recommend you prioritize, prioritize them. And in the off season, I would recommend you take the time to learn all of these. Okay. People ask me all the time, Tariq, why do you want me to learn this if, if I'm paying you to do it? The best clients I have are the clients who actually know what I'm talking about. Nothing is more frustrating than somebody who pays me and keeps saying, hey, what am I paying you for? Well, it would mean a lot more if you understood this so you can know what I'm doing for you versus just paying me and saying, hey, how come I'm not at the top? How come I'm not at the top? There's a lot more to understand about it. So I would definitely recommend that even if you're going to hire somebody, it's still worth it to learn this stuff. Um, during the off season. So where can you learn this stuff? Where can I learn party rental marketing? No problem, I got something, I got just the thing. So if you pull out your phone right now and you text the word HAWK, H-A-W-K, to 708-401-6465, we will send you our free party rental marketing courses. We have Google Ads courses, social media courses, courses on how to get more reviews, and we're only, only gonna be adding to those, right, depending on when you're watching this. So if you wanna learn some of this stuff, whether just for fun or you have somebody, you know, in your office who, who can do it for you or, you know, whatever. This is a, uh, well, I'll send you all my courses free. We don't charge for them. Just something we do for the community. So all you got to do is pull out your phone and I will teach you how to do uh, a lot of this stuff. And we're constantly adding to those. There's a lot of other resources on there. I share uh, the letter that I sent to schools to get a lot of schools to do business with me. A lot of cool stuff on there. So all you got to do is pull out your phone, text the word Hawk, to 40164, sorry, 708 area code, 4016465, uh, and then we will uh, we'll send that to you. So again, these are the three spots. They're all important, but you gotta ask yourself, should I do this on my own, or is it worth it to hire somebody to get me to show up on all three? It comes down to time and money. If you have the time to master it, I did, right? I did, I, I made time because I got sick of hiring people who didn't give me results, and I learned it and I did really, really well for my business. And now I have, I run the largest marketing agency for party rentals, right? I, you know, we have more, we help more party rental companies than anybody else in the, in the industry. Um, so if I can do it, you can do it. I'm not smarter than you, trust me. Um, but again, it took a lot of time. It took me a whole year. I spent a lot of, I spent thousands of dollars. I had to hire mentors and do all this stuff. Honestly, the reason I did that is because I didn't have anybody like me. If I had found somebody to teach me the things that I'm teaching you guys or, or do the service for me, get it done right, honestly, I wouldn't have done all this because it's it, it's worth it to delegate. So so there you go. Um, that's what you have to kind of think about. So let me show you guys our, our Google Ads results. This is crazy. So again, a lot of people tell me, Tariq, I don't do Google Ads because nobody clicks Google Ads. These are, these are spammy. People don't click them. <laughs> let me show you something. These are just Google Ads results, right? I'm not even going to show you SEO or any of that. This is a company in 30 days, they spent $244 on Google ads and they made three over, over $3,700, 30 days only, 30 days. That's more than 10 times what they spent. This is another company that spent $600 and made over $7,000 just in 30 days. These are party rental companies. These are not other companies. This company, 
spent $2,000 in one month and made $46,000, okay? Now this is one of our multi-million dollar companies that we run ads for. So not everybody gets the same results as you guys can see, but it's totally worth it to pay ads. A lot of people are like, I will never run ads because why should I pay money to Google if I can do it for free with SEO? Well, this is why you can highly target your, your, your ads. There's a lot of things that you can do with Google ads that you can't do with SEO. You can target a certain location and you could turn it on and off and, and you could change the wording. If you want to run a, you know, a special, like a Easter special, or, Hey, you know, we don't, we know COVID's going around. We, we, we sanitize all our stuff. So these are things you can do with Google ads that you can't do with, with, with SEO. So it's totally worth it. So Google ads, definitely you want to prioritize all year round, but, uh, definitely in a busy season. Um, and again, if you're somewhere warm, then you're totally missing out. If you're not running Google ads right now, Bing, let's talk, jump on to Bing. Uh, Bing, honestly, it's uh, it's a, it's owned by Microsoft. Uh, you know, it's Bing is a competitor to Google. So Bing looks a lot like Google. They have Bing ads, just like Google ads. They have Bing maps, just like Google maps. Uh, they want to compete with Google. The problem is they have much less traffic than Google. When was the last time you went to Bing to search for something, right? You don't do that. So be for, because of that, I don't recommend you focus on Bing until you've maximized your Google presence. So I'm not going to talk any more about Bing today for that reason, because I, I've, I've worked with hundreds of party rental businesses and not one has maximized their Google presence enough to where they said, hey, you know, we're, we're done with Google. Let's move on to the next thing. Uh, there's so much. In fact, we have the opposite problem. People stop working with us on Google marketing because they say, Tariq, my phone keeps ringing and I'm out of stuff, right? Your, your marketing is working too well. Turn off the Google ads. So that's why I would say don't worry about Bing unless you've fully maximized your, uh, your, your Google presence. So again, if this is all overwhelming, just go ahead and text the word Hawk to, um, to 401-6465-7888. 401-6465 and, uh, and we'll send you those. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna talk about for uh, search marketing. I know that there's a lot more to talk about. If you text the word Hawk in and you get the courses, we talk a lot more about Google ads and, and, and reviews and things like that. And again, we're gonna be adding to those uh, videos. So let's jump over to disruptive marketing. Let me go ahead and start that. Where'd my face go? All right, I guess I gotta split this up so I know it's really important for you guys to see my face <laughs> let's just do full desktop boom boom all right disruptive marketing let's jump right into it so disruptive marketing so these are some examples of disruptive marketing we have uh, event hawk right? Text message marketing, Facebook ads, social media, um, boosting posts, Instagram, YouTube ads, TikTok. These are all examples of disruptive marketing that we're going to touch on. Hope you guys are excited. I know some of these are some really hot ones that you guys have been itching to get into. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Disruptive marketing targets areas where people are not searching for, they're not shopping. They're not there to shop, right? People don't go to Facebook to shop for, for, for shoes or, or cars or bounce houses. They just don't, right? So what you're doing essentially is you're going to, to you're interrupting what they're doing. You're disrupting them in hopes that you, um, you go ahead and you convince them to stop what they're doing and do business with you. Hard sell, right? There's very, because of that, there's very low purchase intent with disruptive marketing. What that means is you're much less likely to get them to book with you uh, on these platforms like Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, text message and marketing, uh, if done wrong. So I'm going to tell you guys the right way to do it. Okay. Again, we won't have time to go into all the details, but I will, I promise I will. I'm not just going to take you guys there and not get you back. So the strategy, how you do it is you have to target the right people at the right time. That's the most important thing. Somebody asked me about targeting. It's really, really important to target the right people at the right time. Okay. And remind them of your brand over and over and over. Um, and if not, if all else fails, what works really great for us, offer a limited time offer to incite urgency. So what is the right time? I'll tell you guys who, as we talk about Facebook and Instagram, people are on social media to kill time or see what their friends did on vacation or look at pictures of their friends, dogs. They're not on Facebook to shop, right? They're not on social media to, to, to do business. So targeting moms, on social media is an uphill battle. I know I'm going to get a lot of shit for this. Excuse my language. Sorry. Uh, but 
I, I know this is a big one. We all do it. You guys all want to target. Let's target women between the ages of 24 to 35 and who have kids and show them our ads. Oh, it's going to go great. I, I boosted this post. It's, it, it works, but I promise you, you get such a low conversion rate. You spend so much money and you don't get barely any return. There's a better way to do it, okay? Because these people are not there to, to do business. So the right way to do it is to, to use social media for branding and retargeting. Not targeting. Don't target these people. You want to retarget them. What does that mean? You want to target people who, who maybe add to cart but don't book, right? Do you guys ever go to a website? And, um, and the next thing you know, hey, I'm sure Event Hawk. So you go to Event Hawk's website. If you go to Facebook after visiting our website, you're going to start seeing Event Hawk ads, right? If you go to a lot of other websites, you're like, oh my God, I was just talking about them. Now you start seeing ads on Instagram and Facebook. I looked at it. Honestly, one out of three posts is an ad now, right? They're all sponsored ads. So that's the right way to do it. You target people. You don't target them based on their demographics or interests. That's, again, that's something you, that's secondary. If you've depleted your budget and if you've done well with retargeting, then you can focus on targeting. But what you want to use social media for is to retarget people who maybe visited your website but didn't book or added to cart and, and abandoned the cart. That's the right way to do it. And if you do a, a special offer, hey, limited time, get, get, you know, get a free cotton candy machine or get, you know, 50% off your second day or something like that, 10 bucks off, then I'm like, oh my God, I was just looking at a bounce house. Good thing I waited. Now I see this ad. Yeah, let me book. That's where we see some really great results. So the question is, does social media work for party rentals or not? Absolutely. Social media marketing absolutely works for party rentals. But, there's a big but, only when you integrate your social media marketing with your search marketing. And it's very complex. I wish it was something that I could just show you guys how to do. Um, but it's, it's, it, it works really, really well. Let me show you guys some examples here. So this is a business that we're running the social media ads for, okay? So the period we're looking at is June 1st through September 30th. So that's the whole season, right? They spent $669. They made $15,000. What does that mean? That's a return of 23 to one. That means that for every dollar they spent on social media, they got $23 back. Remember when I showed you guys the Google ads, it was like 10, right? Like best case scenario, we were able to get it to where they got 10, 10, a 10 times return, $10 back for every dollar they spent. They were like, wow, that's awesome, right? For social media, this business got $23 back for every dollar spent. How do we do it? Again, we it's not by social media by itself. A lot of people see this, like Tariq, let's just shut off the Google ads and I just wanna do the Facebook. No, 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 it's working because of the Google ads because we're retargeting those people, right? Here's another one. This ad set by itself, they spent $118 and made seven grand. That's a, that's a return of 64. That means they made $64 back for every dollar spent. Insane. Here's another one, 83. This company spent, again, this is one of our big multi-million dollar guys. Not everybody gets these results, but $1,800 spent on social media marketing, $151,000. And I mean, it's insane. This is fully trackable, by the way, in their booking software. We track this stuff with order IDs and all that, right? They got a return of 83 to one. How nice would that be if you get a return of 83 to one? Again, not everybody gets those returns. We don't, you know, every business is different, demographics and all that, but social media marketing absolutely works. It, it really, really does, but it's a very complex uh, uh, situation. You know, it takes a lot. And that's why I tell people, like, a lot of people are like, you know, I'm just going to do it by myself. That's why, you know, when you see these numbers, it's like, dude, it's totally worth it to hire us or hire somebody, man. If somebody, if you can find somebody who can get you these results, and I always show people the results. I'm like, hey, here's my results, here's my reviews. I can tell you guys, look for the big R's, the two R's, results and reviews. If somebody can show you results like these and show you reviews that they don't screw people over, just close your eyes and go with them blindfolded. That's the best way to go because they that that's the two things you wanna look for, right? Because it's, it's again, yes, it costs money, but you make so much more. It's like, you know, when you buy inflatables, right? They cost money, but they make you more money. So it's much more complex than search marketing, but it does work. So how do you get your uh, social media marketing to generate high returns? Uh, I'll tell you real quick, uh, but basically step one is you have to post on your social media profiles. This is a big thing we found. We did the same exact thing. We ran almost the same ads in two different markets for two different businesses. One did really, really well and one did nothing, absolutely nothing. The only difference was one business constantly posted on their social media profiles or their Facebook and Instagram, and the other business did not post at all. They, last time they posted was like two years ago. Merry Christmas, all right? So it makes a big difference because people see businesses. When, when somebody sees a, an ad or something, they go to that page 
And when they they don't see anything recent, they don't see that you're posting, like, huh, I don't know, like, is this company even in business, right? They haven't posted anything recently. So it's really not as hard as it sounds. I, I, I don't like it. I don't like posting on social media personally, but it's easy when you realize what you have to do. You don't have to like make these nice elaborate posts. All you gotta do, dude, when you do your setups, take a picture or a video. Just do a live of you cleaning. Customers love to watch us clean our inflatables or, or set up our tents. They're like, they'll just watch and watch. I'm like, this is the weirdest thing. Why are you watching? But anything that customers can relate to. It could even be like memes, like mom memes, you know? Uh, just posting that kind of stuff, you know, a few times a week. Just seeing that engagement, people see you as a fun company, you engage with your customers, you do these things, your marketing will do much, much better. Integrate your social media marketing with your search marketing. Again, it's very complex, but that's the goal here. Um, and then you wanna target people who visited your website but didn't book. So that's basically how we do it, you know, essentially, I mean, in a nutshell. Uh, it's it's not something that I can, you know, show you in one video. It's, it's very elaborate. We do have our, our company secrets as well, but Social media marketing is probably the most complex. It's the most thing that we dislike doing. If I never get another, shouldn't say this, I know Jana's gonna yell at me, but it's it, we don't enjoy it. It's so much work. It is so much work to do the social media marketing to get it done right. So it's not something we look forward to, but it does really, really well, so, so we offer it. But uh, I wouldn't recommend targeting anybody else unless you have a very large budget. So if you're gonna target people who, uh, hey, let me target uh, women with kids and this and that, you can do that, but I, I would not recommend you go after those people unless you have a really, really large budget uh, because, you know, again, social media is not the place to get new customers. Social media is where you wanna retarget your people who already know about you, things like that, okay? So if you're confused, I know it's a lot, but go ahead and text Hawk to the number and you can see we have a, uh, <clears throat> I have a Facebook ads crash course in this, and uh, in, in, as one of these courses, uh, it gets you kind of how to set up your pixel, how to do some reach. So it, it'll at least help you set up your, um, your 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 pixel and get the ads set up so that you can at least you know research the rest, um, and then from there decide you know what 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 you want to do. But it's a very very good one. Uh, or or we do have a master class. Okay, so this is one that I started last year. Let me tell you something. If you had to learn one thing, one thing only. We talked about Google and YouTube and Facebook. Social media is what you wanna learn. Let me tell you why. We do a lot of work for social media clients and they're still not happy. Why? Because social media, is, it's, it's got a big creative element. So you could be thinking you have an idea in your head and I have an idea in my head and I think I know what you want and I create an ad and I create a video for you and I create an image and I'm proud of it. And I'm like, hey, check it out, look what I made. And they're like, oh, that's not what I was thinking. It's very, very hard for me to take what's in your head and, and transfer it to my head and put it on paper. So I highly recommend you learn social media marketing. If there's one thing you have to learn, if there's one thing you don't want to delegate, do yourself. You'll do a lot better if you do your own social media marketing because you are in your business. You could just be walking around your warehouse, take a picture, make a post, uh, if you know what you're doing or, or run an ad with it or you're at a setup, you're like, hey, this looks pretty cool. So we do have, a, last year I did a, a master class. It's very, very detailed. It is insane. I, I took 10 students and I taught them everything I know about social media marketing. And it was so detailed and so intense that I ended up hiring two of them. They still work for me, for me today. They're part of our Google ads team, or sorry, Facebook ads team. So uh, we do have, it's, it's not free. This is a paid masterclass. So if you're, in, I misspelled masterclass. Wow, what an idiot. Um, if you're interested in that, definitely uh, text us in or, or uh, you know just ask about that. I can send you the link for that. Uh, it's 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 really really intense and it, it's again it's time consuming though that's that's the key you so for some people it's better to hire but if you have the time or maybe you have like a son or daughter or you have a team member or you have like an office manager who can take the course for you we've had people do that where they'll like pay their office manager or pay their you know their teenage daughter to take the course doesn't always work out but um, you know if, if you have somebody who's interested in that kind of thing um, then you can actually start running ads for other businesses and Hey, if you want to do that, go ahead, because we don't like doing it. It's, it's a lot of work, and no, no amount of pay is, is enough for you to work on a graphic and video for a customer to tell you, I still don't like it, and you have to start over. So uh, definitely encourage you guys, if you had to pick one thing that you had to learn on your own, and our social media masterclass is um, it's, it's for party rentals. So all the examples are for bounce houses and things like that. So if that's something you're interested in, just text in to, uh, you know, you could text in the same number. So 708-401-6465, you could text in, you know, I want the social media masterclass and I can send you the link for that. We don't market it much. I don't know why we don't. It's just, I never got around to it, but um, I have all the recordings. I did it live and uh, I have all the recordings so we can, we can, we can get you guys in there. 
So what about boosting posts and Facebook Marketplace? What about those? I know a lot of us rely like our whole business on that and it works. I'm not going to tell you it doesn't work. We started, we started running our business with Facebook Marketplace. That's all we did. We boosted posts. Uh, it does work, right? So let's look at those. The pros, boosting posts, much, much easier than running actual ads, okay? It's just much easier. Uh, the cons, very limited targeting. You can't really target when you boost posts. You can't target people who added to cart but didn't book. Uh, and tracking, conversion tracking to see the results, like I showed you guys where you could see here's how much I spent and here's how much I made, almost non-existent. You, you just can't do that with boosting posts. So that's why I'm against boosting posts if you're a legitimate business. I mean, if you have no choice, fine, do it, you know, but uh, I, I really feel like it's a waste of money. Even if it, I know sometimes it's, hey, I just put $5 and banned a post. You really don't know what that $5 did for you, you know? What, what if you could target on Facebook, on Instagram, only people who have birthday parties coming up or who want to rent a tent? That's what you could do when you actually run legitimate ads. So that's why I don't recommend boosting because yes, it's cheaper because you don't have to pay anybody to do it for you. And it's cheap, you don't have to spend a lot of money. But man, the, the, the amount of money you can make, like you guys saw, 83 to one, a return of 83 to one, totally worth paying somebody to do it for you. So uh, that's, that's just why boosting is just, it's, it's kind of like, it's, it's, it's just for, it's Facebook's way of watering down the ads for people who are confused. Marketplace, marketplace is great. If you're starting out, it's, it's a great place to start. Uh, your marketing efforts, it, it gets you going. It's free marketing. It doesn't cost you anything, although it's getting, they're getting to start ban stuff and things like that. But the cons, you compete with the $50 bounce house, guys. That's the biggest thing. The people who go to Marketplace are the people who don't have websites, don't have insurance. You're always going to look like you're too expensive for those people. Uh, most people are going to ask you to lower your prices. They're going to haggle with you. They're never really going to appreciate you. I, I mean, when we started, we only did Marketplace for the first, I don't know, a year or two. Um, and then once we started doing marketing right, we pretty much lost all of our Facebook Marketplace customers because they just didn't want to pay our new rates, right? Because they're used to paying the lower rates because we, we said, you're not going to haggle with us anymore. Um, so so that's, that's the thing about Marketplace. Again, it does work. I promise you. It's, it's not, I'm not saying a lot of you, I, I don't, a lot of you guys are like, Tariq, how dare you recommend Marketplace? For, you guys got to understand, for a lot of these people, they, they have no idea where to start with this stuff. And Marketplace is the only way that they, they're able to put food on the table for their families. They're able to, to at least get something. I get it, right? But there are better ways. You just have to, here's the key, you have to treat your business like a business. Stop treating your business like a side hustle. Let me save money here. I'm going to do Marketplace because it's free. I don't want to pay for Google Ads. I don't want, dude, there, there's better ways. If you want to be a big shark, you got to do what the big sharks did, right? You don't see Amazon and, and, and Apple posting on Marketplace, right? They, they run legitimate ads. I think Amazon spends like 30 million, like a month or something like that on, on, on Google ads. So uh, that one number may be wrong, but I know it's like 30 million every so often. So that's what the big companies do. That's what you got to do, right? You got you to invest in real marketing. You don't, don't want to be doing that, you know, that, 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 that watered down stuff and expect to get big results. You're, again, you're going to tell me, Tariq, you don't know what you're talking about. It works. It does work, but you're, you're going to get to that point. We're going to be stuck. You're going to get, you're going to plateau and you're going to continue to get those customers and you're never going to be able to just let your business run on its own. So that's my little rant. Let's talk about YouTube ads. This is a big one. People are super excited about YouTube ads. Tariq, I, I just want to do it. I know it's like a new thing. Uh, now YouTube shows like more ads than they do videos. And hey, what if I could do YouTube ads? I want to be everywhere. Um, I may not have a popular opinion about this, but I'm just going to kind of put it out there. YouTube is owned by Google. That's the first thing you guys got to know. So you can run YouTube ads from Google ads. I, I know how to do it. It's doable. But here's what you got to know. The pros of Google ads, of, sorry, YouTube ads. It's great for branding and retargeting, okay? So you can retarget people uh, and, and you can just, just to show your brand. And it's good for businesses with a very large budget. YouTube is good for that because they'll, you'll have your brand when they go to Facebook, they see you. When they go to YouTube, they see you. When they go to you know, Google, they see you. It's great for that, but it's very, very disruptive. Nothing is more annoying than YouTube just taking up the whole screen and skip, 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the, the thing about this, so you're like, okay, well, what about, what about Facebook? Well, Facebook, you could keep scrolling, right? YouTube, no, 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 you gotta stop everything you're doing and you gotta watch 10 seconds of this video or three seconds of the video. It's very, very annoying. I hate your business for marketing on YouTube. Like, dude, you're interrupting my video, man. I'm not, I don't even wanna hear it, you know? I'm just skip, 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 skip until it allows me to skip. So again, not to say it doesn't work, but um, it's, it's something that, that you could do if you've maximized your, your other marketing. The targeting is much more complex and much harder to do than Facebook and Instagram. 
Um, it's the targeting. You have to have so many people. But it's really, really weird. I would So all know what I would recommend for YouTube ads. If you want to do video marketing at this time of me recording this video, me doing this, um, Facebook and Instagram is the best place to put, put your money. That's where you want to put your bets on. Facebook and Instagram. You don't want to go to YouTube is just, there's just not much there. You can, you can make money again. You could make a return, but YouTube, or sorry, Facebook and Instagram, like I showed you guys, 83 to one. Just remember that 83 to one. That's not even on record either. So you can't get those numbers on YouTube. So that's what I would recommend. Uh, put that money into Facebook and YouTube marketing. What about TikTok? It's kind of the same thing as YouTube, honestly. Uh, the, po the pros is it's trending, right? Everybody wants to talk about TikTok. Uh, the cons, just look at the time here. Uh, the, the, the cons is it's very disruptive, takes up the whole screen, and the location targeting isn't very flexible for small businesses like us, right? They don't have like the kind of flexibility with, you know, you could target, like with Google Ads and Facebook, you could target like 10 miles around this zip code. It's, again, as of me doing this right now, last I checked, you can't really do that with TikTok. Um, and they're very, very weird. It's pretty new. So at this point, I would not recommend you put much into TikTok. So what does all this mean? Well, actually, let's talk about oh, Event Hawk. Forgot about Event Hawk. Text message marketing. Um, text message marketing, like Event Hawk, uh, is very big. It's disruptive. Uh, Event Hawk texts get higher reply rates than email. That's why it works. Up to 90% of people that, that get texts from Event Hawk, they reply within minutes, right? I'm not going to talk too much about Event Hawk. I did a lot of other videos. So if you guys are interested in those, again, you could text Hawk or uh, just text us. We can send you some of those. So Event Hawk texts people who are just on your website. And that's why it works. You know, you guys get those uh, annoying text messages, marketing. That's not what Event Hawk does. Event Hawk is targeted to people who are actually have a party coming up. That's why it works, right? And it doesn't seem automated. And it texts them while they're still shopping. So they're very excited to hear from you because the other three companies they called still didn't call them back, right? So the biggest benefit of Event Hawk is that it, it comes with a built-in sales funnel. And I'm going to talk so much more about sales funnels in the, in the website, uh, Party Rental Websites uh, 101 video. But essentially, we have a three-step sales funnel. Number one, we grab their info with a pop-up. Number two, the automated texts go out. Number three, you get bookings via text message. And customers love to book via text because guess what? They're shopping when they're at work or when they're watching movies with their kids. They can't be on the phone, but they can text you and book. So they love that. And as a bonus, you get raving fans. So you get tons of reviews uh, from a vet hawk. So these are actual, you know, these, these are outdated, but... 569 reviews, 465 reviews, 684 reviews, 214 reviews. Uh, we help you get a lot of Google reviews through Event Hawk. So it works. It works really, really well. Uh, and that just helps you raise your prices and have social proof in your area. You go to any market, you Google a business, you'll know which ones are using Event Hawk. They're the ones with the most reviews. So how do you prioritize? We talked about a lot of stuff. We talked about Google, uh, Google Ads, TikTok, uh, SEO, Facebook, Instagram, Event Hawk. So this is what I would recommend. Okay, ready for this? This is the order that I would recommend that you prioritize these. They're all important. I would say Google Ads is number one, okay? Because that's where we, we get up to, I think like one out of four people that click our ads sometimes. So you want to get listed all the way at the top of Google. Then you want to use text message marketing for those people who visit your website to get them to book with you. Then you want to get listed on Google Maps to catch those people who skipped the Google Ads and went ahead and, and just went for the maps because Google Maps shows their reviews. Then you want to focus on the social media marketing, okay? Because that's where people, they look at your website, they add to cart, but they don't book. Then they go to their social media, boom, they see an ad that says, hey, you get 10 bucks off your uh, bounce house if you book today only. It works really, really well. That's where you get those 83 to 1 returns. And then you can focus on the SEO because that's all the way at the bottom. Most people don't even make it, or a lot of people don't make it that far. So that's what order I would recommend that you guys would go with these um, in. So... If you have a big marketing budget, if you have a very large budget, then you can uh, look into Bing and YouTube ads. Uh, and once you've maximized everything else, then I would say look into um, uh, uh, TikTok ads. So that would just be my recommendation, right? So you'd start with these, uh, Google ads, Event Hawk, SEO in that order, social media, uh, S you know, search listings, the regular SEO. And then I wouldn't worry about these unless you, <laughs> when you're a multi-million dollar company, then you can start worrying about these. Um, and now it's time for the one everybody's been waiting for, marketing calendar, right? So I promised you guys a marketing calendar. So this is it. This is what I came up with. So much stuff to shove in here. So I don't even know if you guys can see this, but if you guys are interested in this marketing calendar, just ask me for it in the, um, in, in the uh, uh, comments. 
and I will send you uh, a PDF. I'll try to put, put this in a PDF, but uh, basically this is the order that I would focus on during the busy season, okay? Google Ads first. During the slow season, I would focus on SEO and I would, inst I would focus on uh, social media last and Google Ads. Uh, again, not to say you don't need them depending on where you're at, but that's kind of the order I would do it. So this is how I would do it right here. Busy, busy season, number one, Google Ads and Event Hawk. Uh, slow season, number one, SEO and Event Hawk. Because Event Hawk is what helps you close those sales, no matter where they're coming from, right? Um, and at, at, the, at the bottom of the busy season, you want to worry about the regular SEO. At the bottom of the slow season, you want to worry about social media. Because social media, uh, it needs a lot of traffic for it to work well. A lot of traffic. Uh, social media, they don't like it when you have only, you know, like 100 people on your website this month because then you're gonna run ads and they're gonna feel like you're, um, you're targeting, a, you're, you're invading people's privacy. So social media works best when there's a lot of traffic, so they're in a busy season. So this is what I came up with here. It's, it's kind of hard to see, but um, I only have one page. But basically, the busy months are green, the slow months are blue. So in the, in the slow months, um, you focus on these, and in the busier months, you focus on, on these. Um, some of you guys are like, oh, I'm super busy in December, that's fine. Some of us aren't, uh, but if you guys are interested in this, I can put it in um, a PDF format to where you guys can make it printable or something like that, um, and you guys can look at it. Again, it's just a priority list. Um, see some of you guys are interested in that calendar, so I'll, I'll, I'll put that together and maybe add it into those uh, resources. So you guys can totally do this. I know it's been a lot. I know you guys are thinking, Tariq, this is... A lot. I hope it wasn't overwhelming. I hope it was, you know, educational. You can go out and do all this on your own. I promise. It's not, I mean, I did it. That's exactly what I did, right? My business was suffering. My family was struggling, right? I had a wife and two kids working two, three jobs and trying to run my business. And my wife's telling me, you can't, you just, you know, sell it or, you know, this isn't working. You need to pick up more hours or Uber. It was tough, right? But I did it, right? And you can too. Uh, I, I'd love to, you know, I'm happy to teach you guys. It, you know, this is it. This is what I would just do, you know, focus on these in a the busy season and these in the slow season. But Okay, there's a big but. If you want 10 times the results in a fraction of the time, then you should hire us. You should hire VentHawk, hire an expert, right? Why do I say us? Because again, we're the largest. We have we help more party rentals at companies than anybody else. We have more reviews than anybody else. And we're just, you know, we're just the best at what we do. That's the facts, right? So uh, again, if you want your company to grow, then you should hire help, okay? Here's the problem. It costs more when you hire somebody, right? But in the end, it actually costs you less because you're not, you know, you're not paying Google fees more and, and Facebook and the time. I mean, honestly, I, I learned the hard way that the time that you spend is actually what's what's worth the most. Right. And you make way more when you have somebody run your ads the right way. Um, doing everything on your own. A lot of us, we start this business. We scratch up all the way to the bottom of the barrel and we're like, I'm going to put all my money in this business. And we're just so we're, we're, we're scared to, to pay anybody to help us because we worked so hard to build this. I totally get it. I'm super cheap. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm one of the cheapest people you'll meet because I don't like to spend money if I can do it by myself, right? But I had to change that mentality because when you do everything yourself, it really kills your time and hurts your business, right? What you really want to do is delegate and hire where you can. That's what a business owner does. If you wear all these different hats, I'm going to be HR and I'm going to be marketing and I'm going to do this, I'm going to be that. What happens, you're going to, you're going to get burnt out and you're going to hate your business. That probably sounds familiar to a lot of you guys. I think it's like, man, I can't stand this anymore. It was so exciting and so fun when he started, and now I'm just like, I just want to be done. I, I don't want to do this anymore, right? You really got to stop being a prisoner of your business and use your time to manage just the things that only you can do. What are those? Your family, right? If you got kids, and they grow so fast. Um, being a boss, being good to your team, right? Being the best boss you can be. Routing. I've, <laughs> I've tried to hire so many people to do routing. When you guys get to 20, 30, 40 bookings on a Saturday, and you only got three, four trucks to do it in, Good luck, right? It's it's not something you could hire somebody to do and do it right. I, I mean, only me and my wife can do routing. So those are things only I can do. I can't delegate, but I can delegate for marketing. I can get an accountant to do my accounting. I can, you know, I could do, you could delegate for HR. You could, for, for a lot of different things you could delegate. But if you do everything on your own, it really burns you out. And it's just, it's not smart, right? You're not being a business owner. You really, the end goal, why did we start a business? Because we want to work on our business, not in our business. If we wanted to be employees, Right. If we wanted to be just just uh, workers, then then we would we would have never quit our jobs and started a business. So that's what happens when you kind of try to do everything on your own. You just 
you, you end up spending less time with your family and, and you start a business and my kids tell me sometimes they're like you know what dad i miss when you used to work at the hospital i wish when you used to just teach because now we never see you you're, you're, and i i have to check myself a lot because you get obsessed and you just kind of want to do it all but it, it, it takes a lot of uh, uh um a lot of organization so what if all this was taken care of for you so i'm going to introduce you guys to the first ever all-in-one marketing program by event hawk um we we've never kind of offered an all-in-one because we kind of always felt you just let people pick what they wanted but you know now we decided that we're going to offer an all-in-one and give you guys a really great deal so all-in-one holistic marketing program for your party rental business that includes all these things event hawk text message marketing google marketing uh seo facebook marketing instagram marketing Google Ads, Google Maps, all that stuff included uh, as part of one package, okay? All done for you. And who's it done by? It's done by us. We are, built, Event Hawk was built by party rental business owners. So pretty much everybody who works within Event Hawk, they own a party rental business like you. So we know the business, we know the industry. Uh, we're already trusted by hundreds of other party rental business owners. We already have proven results like I showed you guys. And if you guys go to our Facebook page, you guys can see all of our, we have more five-star reviews than anybody else. And they're legit five-star reviews, right? You can't just make a fake Facebook profile and leave a review. You can actually follow that person, see who they are and go message them and be like, hey, did you really say these great things about Event Hawk? So yeah, so that's why we use Facebook. So what would these be worth to you? That's the question. What is all this worth to you? Google ads, SEO, maps, event hawk, social media, by, by, a, by a, a company, a marketing company that's made up of party rental business owners that are already trusted by hundreds, that, that already have proven results, that have all these reviews. What is that worth? That's what you gotta ask yourself. What is all that uh, worth? And here's what you would pay. If you hired somebody from outside of the industry, this is what it would cost you. If you did Google ads, $1,000 a month. I've gotten quotes for up to $1,400 a month plus ad spend. No joke. It's a company actually that helps a lot of other party rental companies, and they, that's what they quoted me. They're like fourteen hundred dollars a month. I'm like, holy crap! So that's you know thousand dollars a month. Sure, there's people who do less, but that's what if you went outside of this industry, that's what you're looking at. SEO anywhere from a thousand to three thousand uh, dollars for everything that a vet hawk can do. You're looking at five hundred bucks a month plus texting fees. Social media, you're looking at a thousand to two thousand dollars a month plus ad spend. So you'd be looking at thirty five hundred to sixty five hundred dollars a month plus ad spend, plus texting fees. And in the end, you don't get really fast results because you just don't, you know, they're not in your industry, right? They don't know party rentals and they don't have that track record. They're not made up of other party rental business owners. So that's what you spend, right? $3,500, $6,500 a month. Now, when I started this, uh, my party rental business, I was willing to pay this and I did. And let me tell you why. Because I said, if, this, if, I, if I have to pay $6,500 a month to make, $500,000, a million dollars, why not, right? It didn't work out though, because they didn't know the industry. So that's not what we charge. We don't, we don't charge that, um, what we do charge, we're only gonna charge this for the first 10 people. Now, why am I doing this, Tariq? What's this gimmick you're doing, 10 people only? The reason we're doing this is we decided that instead of charging what we should charge, we're gonna try this program, we're gonna try to be really lean. Now, this program, you're gonna have at least four different teams working on, on, your, uh, on your business, from, from within, you know, for, for SEO and Google ads and social media, you're gonna have at least four or five different teams working on you. So it, it costs, and this is labor intensive, right? Everything costs money, everything, all the prices are going up. So these are actual people that are gonna be working on your business. It has to be expensive because it's actual people that are doing it. It's not, you know, it's not hundred dollars, right? So it should cost $3,000, should cost 2,000. It should cost up, up high because it's actual people working on it. But we decided we're gonna try something for 10 people only. We're gonna to try to charge very, very little and see if we can sustain it, right? So what are we charging? We're charging as little as $997 a month plus ad spend, okay? We have three packages to choose from. I'll show you guys those in a second. Uh, if you guys do wanna see the packages, uh, the first, the lowest one is $997. We kinda of recommend it based on uh, how many units you have, right? It's a recommendation, but all you gotta do is visit our website, eventhawk360.com slash PRMP. I'll put that in the comments right now, or you could just text the word marketing to, uh, to our number. So um, as little as $997, guys. I mean, to get SEO, Google ads, social media marketing, it's, it's pretty insane. Let me, let me go ahead and share that link with you guys so you guys can see all the different packages. But again, if you're not one of the 10, first 10 people to sign up, this price probably will go up because I don't know if we can sustain it. If you're watching a recording from this, and the price is higher than it went up. If it didn't, then we were able to sustain it. I'm gonna do my best to work with my team to keep this price low. So here's the packages that we were able to put together. I'm gonna to put it, uh, I just put the link in the comments. So here's what we came up with. 
if for $997, we can get you basic results, you'll get, uh, you'll get SEO, Google will rank you on Google Maps, on search, we'll help you with Google Ads, social media marketing, uh, you'll get the event hawk system, we'll help you get more reviews with reputation management, and we'll give you click fraud protection so you get less of your competitors or bots clicking your, your, your links and stuff like that. And if you want basic results, we can do it for $997. If you want <clears throat> faster results, we have $1597. And if you want the fastest results, we do it for $2497. This is literally worth at least $5,000, the amount of work that we put into this. So we would recommend this for, uh, if you have like 20 units or less, we would recommend this program. If you have 20 to 40 units, we could recommend this program. And if you have 40 to 80 units, we would recommend this program. You could pick whatever one you want. We're not going to go and check and see how many units you have. That's, that's not how this works. It's just, you know, we're going to do a certain amount of work for this package. Uh, and you could call us and we can go through all the details. There's so much. I didn't want to put it all in here just because there's so much. And it got overwhelming. I did have it initially, uh, but I just put the link. I just put the link in there. Um, and hey, if if this is a lot, then that's fine. But you know, we could always break it up. If you just if you don't want everything, like we're doing all these different things, so you don't have to necessarily have all these. Remember, like if we're looking back here, this is um this is you're getting the Google Ads, the SEO, Event Hawk. You don't have to like if this is your off season. If you're in a place like Chicago, that you could just do SEO right? Because it's off season. You don't need Google ads right now because you don't have much bookings. It's cold. You don't want to do work right now, right? Uh, so you could just do, you know, for example, SEO. So we have, if you want just, if you want a la carte, you want to break it up. You just want to get one thing at a time. We can do that. Uh, I would highly recommend Event Hawk and Google ads to start. Those are two cheapest uh, programs and they work the fastest. But again, this is for companies who just want to tackle 2022 and go all out and just get it all, right? You want to you want to really maximize your business. This is what you need. This is what you need to do. You need to do it all. Um, if again, if, especially if you're somewhere warm all year, like Texas, Florida, you know, you're you're again. It's where do you want to take your business? Now, sure, three thousand dollars for marketing. That's way too much. Thousand dollars still too much, right? We spend three thousand dollars on a single water slide, guys. Why do we do it? Because we know that we're gonna. It takes money to make money, right? You're gonna make so much more money by investing this money and we've shown you guys our results and we've shown you guys our reviews and uh, I mean even if you go to like our um, you know like this is our let's see here I could show you guys I don't know if I can do it here like if you go to our Facebook page see what we have now 65 reviews that is so exciting so you guys can see all these reviews of all the people that we've taken care of uh, we do really good work so we, we have the results we have the reviews it just it just comes down to do you want the results, right? If you want, if you want to do well, then you have to spend money. Then you have to kind of, uh, you know, you have to invest. Uh, you know, again, you have to ask yourself, what is it worth? If three thousand dollars a month gets you the ability to, to 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 just rock your market, to be able to be everywhere, to be able to be booked solid every weekend, and to be able to to to, to just delegate this marketing thing so that you could just you know work for a few months, make a ton of money, and then sit back and spend time with your family. And you don't have to sit there and post on social media or post on face or on, on marketplace and chase your customers on. That's totally worth it for you because hey, you do the math. You have 20 units and you know you do math how much each one costs, you can get them out every weekend. Why the heck not? We do it for people all the time. So you just have to think, you know, time versus money. Is it worth it for you? Um, if not, if that's not your goal, then that's fine. So again, we don't even charge all that. We're unheard of. You will never find a a package as little as this so again we're only taking 10 people at this rate so what i want you guys to do is uh i put the link in the uh in the comments if you're watching it on facebook or you could text the word marketing to our number if you're one of the first to, to 10 to sign up what you're going to want to do is go to the page right here you're going to click sign up and you're going to enter your information here and get signed up if you are one of the first 10 to sign up then um, you'll be good. We'll we'll get you started. We'll we'll start working on everything for you. If you're not, then we'll call you and we'll say, hey, um, you know, this is uh, you know, we may have to raise the price or whatever. Now the big question is two questions. Um, what if I already have some of this stuff with you? What if you're already doing my Google or this or that? That I would still say sign up for one of these and we could adjust your rates later. And the other question uh, you know I'd expect is Tariq, what if I want to pay for this now, get in one of the ten spots, but I want to start later? We could totally do that. As long as you sign up and you're one of those first 10 people, then we can hold your spot and uh, we could start out uh, at a later date. I get it. Some people just kind of want to lock in the rate. Again, it just depends how serious you are about your business. So how it works is when you sign up, uh, you click sign up and you enter your information, you enter your card information. Uh, we send you a text message and we start working one thing at a time. 
we'll, you, could, you could say, hey, Tariq, I want to start with uh, Google Ads first, or we could recommend what we want to start with. So, and we could also schedule a call to kind of build a strategy together. But that's pretty much all I have, guys. I'm going to go ahead and turn this over uh, to Zoom. So again, uh, we're only going to be able to take 10 at these rates. So if you're serious, again, I'm a terrible salesman. I'm not pushy. I don't sit here and, and, and tell people, hey, man, you know, you better do that. No, we're only going to take 10. So um, go ahead. If you're even remotely interested, text the word marketing to 708-401-6465 or visit the link that I put in the comments um, and um, get in now and or at least get the link so that you can sign up later. And again, if we get 10 and you're number 11, then we'll say, hey, you know, may go up a little bit. Or we may say, hey, you know what? The team came together and we were able to sustain these prices. Um, but at least I want you guys to have this link. Once I close this, I don't know if you, yeah, the comments will be there. Um, but yeah, it's that's that's pretty much what it comes down to. This is not for everybody. I know a lot of you guys, you never thought you'd even spend $100 on marketing. And that's fine. This is only for people who are really want to maximize their their business uh if you want to do it all yourself that's fine if you have the time then watch my videos i have tons of free videos that i told you if you text the word hawk you'll have all those videos and you can do it yourself if you have the time the, the the resources then sure do it yourself i did i'm sure you're smarter than me right i'm not i'm not a genius so if i could do it anybody could do it uh, but again it just comes down to time so you guys have been amazing i'm gonna go ahead and shut this down so again if you're even remotely interested before i end this go ahead and text the word marketing to 708-401-6465 so you can have that list of, uh, of of prices and i'll go ahead and end the live now you guys have been amazing love you guys so much next week if you're watching this live we're going to be doing website uh, party rental websites 101 huge we're going to talk about sales funnels and, and booking so we're going to talk about a lot of different stuff super excited about that one so i'm going to go ahead and end the live video before i do that let me go ahead and put the zoom link actually oh, i almost forgot so i'm going to put the zoom link us on zoom here okay so i just put the zoom link in the comments if you guys are uh want to kind of join us on zoom and if you have some questions or just want to chit chat kill time because your wife is watching netflix or cleaning and you have nothing better to do then go ahead and join us on zoom i just put the link in the comments so i'm going to go ahead and shut off the live go ahead and click that zoom link i'll see you guys there this has been amazing you guys have been amazing thank you guys so much i will see you guys on zoom